What is happening everyone? Brian Mello here again over at Marty's Buick GMC and in today's video we're going to take a look at this 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 in satin steel metallic with jet black leather interior. Price as tested is 62107 I believe, but we'll verify that in just a second. Now, as with most of my videos, we're going to do a quick walk around the exterior of the vehicle, show you some of the highlighted features there, and then once we're done, we'll jump inside and go over what's going on in there as well. So let's get right into it. Of course, first things first, we can't not notice those C-notched LED signature day running lights with LED headlights. We've also got LED fog lights down low. And if we dive in close up front, we can see we've got the front parking sensors, We've also got red toe recovery hooks because this is, of course, an AT4. And then we've got that black chrome AT4 grille with the big, bold GMC logo in the middle. Also, if we get in close, hopefully the engine noise doesn't blow me out here, but you've got the front camera for your HD surround vision camera system. And I'm gonna show you how that works in just a second. First things first, I am going to shut this thing down. I thought it looked really good with the headlights on. For once, it was actually uh, cooperating, so they weren't flickering. Here is a look at your key fob. You've got your lock, your unlock, your remote start, and we can drop the tailgate. Let's go inside really quick and just shut this thing down. Perfect. So uh, around the side of the truck, you can see we've got our five three liter V8 badge up high on the fender. Down low, we get a look at our 20 inch AT4 wheels. So they're a black wheel with machine face. And these are 275 wide Bridgestone Jeweler AT tires. So a little bit more aggressive. They're not too crazy, but a little bit more than you would normally get on some of the other trims like the SLT, SLE, et cetera. I'm gonna back up so you can get a nice side profile view of this truck. I absolutely love the satin steel paint. I think that might be my favorite next to uh, Summit White. But you let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of satin steel metallic? We've got the AT4 badge down low on the door. Your side mirrors do have your turn signals integrated, and they have also got a camera hidden right underneath. Once again, just another camera for your HD surround vision camera system. I can see, that, I know the sun's not really out, but you, hopefully maybe you can see some of that metallic flake in the satin steel metallic paint job. Once again, just one of my, uh, one of my favorite colors. We do have keyless entry, so as long as the key fob is in your hand, you can just press that button right there on the door handle. That's gonna let you into the truck. If we come take a look at our window sticker, now we are, I am recording this in 4K, so if you wanna pause it and try and look at everything, you should be able to do so. But I will go over the quick features here. Now the standard vehicle price is 53,800. You can see we've added the technology package. We've also got the driver alert two package, HT, uh, the AT4, I'm sorry, preferred package. And that gives you a total price right here of 62,170, so I was close. 21 miles per gallon highway, 16 city, we've got 18 miles per gallon combined. And of course, you can see here we've got the 5.3 liter V8 paired up with that 10 speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna back up and go around. Let's take a look at the bed. So as we go around the back of the truck, you can see we've got our easy step rear bumper. We've got our dual exhaust. You can see we've got parking sensors in the back, H H HD. I've been doing too many HD videos. We've got the AT4 badging in the bottom right hand corner of the bed. Trailer tow package is all set up. You can see down here we've got both sets of plugs, both top and bottom. We've got two cameras back here. Once again, more cameras for the HD surround vision camera system. We've got the Multi Pro tailgate, and I'm just going to drop this as you would normally drop a tailgate. And in the back, you can see over here on the right side, we've got actually a full power outlet, which is super convenient. You know, if you're doing any type of outdoor activity, even if it's just like camping, tailgating, uh, maybe it's a kid's sports event, and you want to be able to plug something in, maybe an electric grill, maybe a speaker, whatever the case may be, it's really convenient to have that. You've also got LED interior bed lighting. You can actually see one of those right here. And then we've got 12 tie-down hooks with room for expansion. You can see these little, little like plugs right there in the bed. You could add more hooks if you needed to. So it's nice that you have room there for expansion. Of course, factory spray and bed liner. You can see AT4 on the back of the bed, which I think looks really good. You've got your assist handle here. So, you know, if you've got bad knees or you, maybe you just want an easier way to get up into the bed, you can just lift that handle up. And then that gives you a little bit easier access. Of course, you can also just give this guy a drop, drop that down. And now you've got yourself 
basically a set of stairs where you can just put your foot up, grab the handle, and step right up into the bed of the truck. So just a little bit easier for those who need a little bit easier access. Just grab that handle. You've also got the handhold in the bed rail too, so you can just grab here and then put your foot right in the uh, bed step and up you go. Now I'm gonna shut this. Thank God the bed is aluminum, so it's nice and light. You can do it one-handed, even with a camera in my hand. I'm gonna back up, just give you a nice view of the back of the truck. She is a beaut. Now, of course, before someone says it, yes, there are no steps on this truck. Can you get it with steps? So yes, of course you can. However, it does seem like a lot of people will uh, opt out of the steps on the AT4. I'm assuming they just want that ground clearance. You do have a two inch level on the AT4. You've also got the dual speed transfer case, Z71 suspension, You've got the skid plates underneath. Make sure uh, if you are taking this thing off road somewhere, it will handle the abuse. And let's go in the back. All right, now I'm gonna stand back here so you can get a look at what you would expect as you're getting into the back seat of this AT4. You can see you've got your jet black interior with uh, Kalakari. I always forget what they call this color uh, with the brown trim. It's like basketball leather is what it looks like. You've got two 10 quart storage containers in the back of the seats. So you've got one here and then a matching one, of course, on the other side. We've got the drop down armrest that doubles as a cup holder. And of course you can lift this seat up and underneath you've got a small storage tray, which is nice. So, you know, for anyone who's ever put something under the back seat of their truck and hit the brakes, it always slides out and it's kind of a pain. So it's nice that they added this. You can just put whatever you want right here. It's not gonna slide out or go everywhere when you're actually using the truck. I also wanna note, you've got these all weather floor mats with removable carpets, which I think is a great feature because especially like in New England where I am, snow and sleet and stuff, your shoes are a mess, you get in, you destroy the carpets. So if you know a big storm's coming, you can actually just reach in here and pull these carpets right out of the truck so you don't have to worry about destroying them. Also in the back, we've got our rear ventilated heated seats, ventilated heated seats, so rear heated seats. Uh, the seats are perforated leather, so they are heated. You've got a USB-C and a USB port as well as a power outlet and of course your rear heating vents. You've also got pockets on the back of both seats just for more places to stuff junk, you know, because who doesn't need more places to stuff junk, right? I'm just gonna back out too really quickly so you can see plenty of leg room. In fact, we've got that passenger seat pushed pretty far back and reclined, you can see you still got plenty of leg room. So if you're gonna put an adult back here, you shouldn't have any, any issues. Let's hop up front and go over all the things that everybody wants to see the most. You can see our eight inch full color Intellink system firing up. Now, <clears throat> I always let everybody know I, I go through this kind of quickly. So if there is anything I didn't go over that you want to see, uh, or you need a little bit more information on something, let me know and I'll be happy to go over that with you. Just leave a comment down below. So let's dive right into this. On the left side, you've got your power windows, power mirror controls, memory seat buttons, and your power locks. Now, these do power fold in, so if you're gonna be parking this thing somewhere uh, on a sidewalk, uh, on a little city street, you know, your mirrors have marker indicators. They get cameras built into them now. So just hit that button there and fold your mirrors in. Save yourself that headache of losing one. Not a fun time. And it happens more often than you think. Up here, we've got our modes, our drive mode selector. We've got our four wheel drive controls. Our headlight controls is the spotlight over the bed and your LED bed lighting. We've got our gauge cluster brightness and then our headlights. Honestly, your headlights are probably gonna leave in auto all the time, but you know, it's good to know that you do have the option to turn them on or off if you want to. Maybe you just want to drive around the parking lights on. Jumping up to the steering wheel, we've got our heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, and our cruise controls here. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, we've got our Bluetooth hands-free controls, and volume controls are right here on the back of the steering wheel. Now, if I use this little scrolly wheelie toggle here, you can see I'm going through all like the different information, distance, oil pressures, 
tire pressures, air filters, brake pad life, everything right through this screen, which is really nice. And you can actually edit this screen to whatever you want it to be. You can actually go all the way over here to this page in settings, info options, and you can actually change what you see on the screen, which is cool. Of course, you can use your navigation. You can uh, have your music set up here so you can see what songs are playing. Um, so really, really nice intuitive system there. Over here on the right, that brings us over to our 8-inch uh, GMC Intellink system. This is an 8-inch diagonal full-color touch screen. You've got AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay. We've got Android Auto. You've got your navigation here. Really great uh, navigation system. I'm a huge Waze guy, which most times I'm just hooking up my phone and using Waze. But if you're not a Waze person or you like to just use the built-in navigation, it's a really intuitive system. Uh, I suggest when you take one of these for a test drive, you enter in some addresses and actually try it out. It's one of those things that people like forget and you gotta live with this for a while. So make sure that you like everything that the system has to offer, which I'm sure you will. Now, if we go over here to the right, I can go into the HD surround vision camera system. Let's get an overhead view so you can see I got an overhead view and then I'm seeing in front of me right here. So depending on where this yellow dot is, that's where you're looking. So you can see uh, the yellow dots in the front. So I'm looking at the front of the vehicle. If I hit that, now I'm looking at the back of the vehicle. We've got the overhead rear view. So if I'm hooking up a trailer, that would be really nice. And there's my front view. You can see they're actually taking some plastic off seats going out for a test drive right here. So you can see the, the truck is right there in front of me. We've got this crazy 3D render view. It shows what the truck is in like a virtual environment. And then we've got our curb hunter cameras. So if you're pulling this thing up close to a curb to park, once again, you know, everything's expensive nowadays. You get 20 inch wheels. They're not cheap. You know, throw on the curb, curb hunter cameras, pull up nice and close and you'll be good to go. We've also got the overhead bed camera. So if you've got kids running around in the bed and you want to make sure to keep an eye on them while you're driving down the highway at 80, this is a great, great way to do that. I'm totally kidding. Don't put your kids in the bed at 80. But uh, it is nice to have that overbed camera as well as this hitch cam here. You uh, do have your Sirius XM. Of course, Welcome to Sirius XM. It's all you'll ever need to hear everything you want. Oh, okay, Sirius. Um, I do like, let's see if it lets me go through it. I do like the way that... Uh, it's probably not going to let me do it until I set up. Uh, I like the way that you can go through all the different stations on XM. Yeah, I'm going to have to set it up first. Uh, it, they're like little books. It looks really cool. You've got aluminum surround. I know it's a little tough to see because it is kind of like, you know, the shade. There's not a lot of sunlight coming in today, but it's like a brushed aluminum. Hopefully you can see that, like a stainless steel. And then you've got this aluminum surround with the black leather and brown accent stitching. So I'm going to, let's go wide really quickly here, and you can see kind of the full interior. Don't mind the camera. So there's just a nice wide view of the interior here. Now below the 8-inch Intellink system, you've got your climate controls. Of course, you can use these through the uh, touchscreen as well, but it's nice that you have analog controls still. You've got the heated seats and air-conditioned seats below that. And then below that are all your toggle switches for a, a multitude of different things. So we've got our lane departure warning, parking sensors on or off. We've got the auto start and stop on or off. Like I know I've said this a few times in my videos. I hate that it, the stop automatically at red lights and stop signs and stuff. So I like that I can turn that off. We can drop the bed, tailgate. We can do our hazards, traction control on or off, power our outlets like the one you saw in the bed and the one up here. And then we've also got hill descent control. We've got another power outlet here, a USB, a USB-C, and your trailer brake controller. So pretty much everything you possibly need is in this truck, as well as a wireless charging dock. So if you have any, pretty much any modern phone now, you just set the phone down, it's going to charge wirelessly. And then you've got a cubby here to put change and keys and whatever the heck you feel like it, maybe the key fob. So that's cool. And once again, if you're a Wazer, Waze works. I'm a fan. You've got your cup holders here. We've got a big perforated leather with... Uh, black, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, black leather with the brown accent stitching. Come on, contrast stitching. There we go, Bri. It's early. It was a long holiday. <laughs> Inside the console, we've got a USB, a USB-C. We've got an SD card slot and an auxiliary jack. Of course, this is channeled, so if you're going to run any wires out, you're not going to pinch them. We've also got a 
set up here for folders. So it's designed to kind of be a mobile office if you're a contractor and you're gonna be using this thing for work. You can actually hang folders, contracts, deals uh, right inside the console here, which is nice. You do have Bose audio. I know I always graze over it. So if you're a, an audio guy, you like you know loud music while you're driving or just a nice clear sound, you're gonna have that inside this truck. You can also see, once again, we've got our all weather floor mats with removable carpets. You've got the GMC badging on that carpet and you can see your Bose audio symbol right there. We've got a glove box down low and a glove box up high. I don't think I need to open that up. We all know what a glove box looks like at this point in our lives. Here's just another look at your seat. You can see you've got AT4 embroidered into the headrest, which just looks great. Once again, black, jet black with Kalahari, right? Kalahari, basketball brown, contrast stitching and, and uh, leather inserts. Above my head, we've got LED interior lighting. We've got a programmable garage door opener. We've got our power sliding rear window and our OnStar buttons have been moved from the mirror to the overhead position, which brings us to the mirror. You've got a full HD video as opposed to looking at this. This is what you would normally look at. You know, can we see out there? Sure, we can kind of see, but now you've got a nice full HD video display of what's going on behind you. So it is adjustable. I actually tested this out. You can do like a, a four lane highway. You can see all the way across. You can adjust the brightness here. You can adjust how zoomed in you want it. You can bring it up, you can bring it down, whatever your liking is and have that all set up. Just a better way of viewing what's going on behind you, especially if, you have, if you're pulling a trailer around. And that my friends is sort of the quick rundown of this 2021 Satin Steel Metallic GMC CR1500 AT4. Once again, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, want to know more or less or anything else about this truck, feel free to give me a shout. I'm going to uh, get out of the way of these guys so they can take one of these trucks for a test drive. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great new year. This will probably be my last video of the year. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take care.